Welcome everyone, it is 3 p.m. and it's time for the server room show. This is episode 28. Thank you for STF Public Unix server for hosting the server, Unix system for hosting the server live show and it's always fun when I make mistakes. Today I would like to talk about uh, just a couple of things I came across in, in looking around. One of the things is, uh, as always, you can find on victormadaras.fisher.net you can find uh, the contact information and uh, where to watch the live video feed on Fisher TV and uh, how, how to listen live and also the recordings for uh, past episodes and contact details. So some things I came across mm, I want to talk about. For example, the new Raspberry Pi just came out, uh, this time with uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM and uh, why it is an important step from 4 gigabytes of RAM because now uh, they were kind of uh, forced to or uh, or had to uh, bring out also the the beta of the operating system in a 64 bit form 64 bit form so they can uh, or you can take advantage of uh, the RAM above 4 gigabytes. Previously, with the uh, 32-bit OS, uh, you could take advantage uh, if you had more RAM, which you didn't. But uh, you could have taken advantage of more RAM if you had. Uh, however, a single process couldn't have had more than 4 gigabytes of RAM because of the 32-bit limitations. But imagine you could have had uh, to processes each using 4 gigabytes of RAM on a 32-bit uh, operating system but uh, in this case with 64-bit uh, beta OS now uh, a single process can take advantage of uh, RAM above 4 gigabytes no problem so that's, uh, that's actually good news they brought out the new OS in a beta phase and actually they changed the name to Raspberry Pi OS uh, in this public beta form they explained the name change from Raspbian OS that uh, they didn't take uh, any code from the Raspbian uh, project uh, from their github so they uh, didn't want to the developer said he wouldn't be happy to to give the name of Raspbian to, to to an operating system which uh, uses no code from the project, so they changed the name to Raspberry Pi OS, and uh, as you might have guessed as previously, it is based on uh, Debian. They promise, uh, of course, with more memory memory RAM available, and a 64-bit uh, OS, they promise better performance overall. The question, as always, is do you really need that much RAM? I think uh, having the more RAM, more RAM is the better. And uh, they mentioned that mostly people who use their Raspberry Pis for um, kind of like a specialized need, running data intensive uh, server loads or uh, even virtual machines, uh, they could uh, they could really benefit from uh, this this. Uh, more more amount of uh, of RAM now uh, possible on, on the new Raspberry Pi. Uh, the price is around uh, twenty dollars, if I remember, uh, more expensive. So it's actually, I think it's not that bad uh, because the four gigabytes model uh, now you pay around twenty dollars more and you have uh, eight gigabytes. So I think it's good. And on that same note, I was uh, again looking into what things you can do with the Raspberry Pi and this time I was uh, more uh, focused into automotive things because there is always this uh, dilemma that uh, uh, should you should you DIY uh, do it for yourself uh, when it comes to mm, your car or you should just go with uh, off-the-shelf uh, solutions like uh, media media center or uh, navigation and uh, 
the, the, the honest answer is that uh, maybe I have too many needs uh, when it comes to a, an all-in-one uh, uh, head unit, uh, multimedia head unit uh, for a car. Maybe I have uh, way more needs than, 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 a, than a normal person. But I couldn't find with uh, Raspberry Pi one single project or a, or, a, or, a, or a simpler approach which would do uh, everything uh, everything in one so to say uh, one of the parts of uh, on, on my on my on my to-do list or on my list of uh, things I would like to see in a in a Raspberry Pi uh, head unit in, in for a car is a DAB plus uh, and and FM radio module, and uh, the funny is that these uh, these boards exist, these the DAB plus uh, FM uh, radio development boards exist, and you can um, you can uh, control them or program them from uh, an Android uh, phone uh, through an Android app, or you can also do it uh, from a, from a Raspberry Pi, uh, from under Linux from Raspbian and you can control it from the command line. However, I didn't find uh, any project which uh, took advantage of this additional uh, little piece of board. I think it's around $80. And uh, uh, as far as I saw, it, uh, it does the, the radio part uh, ju just fine. It has uh, USB and uh, audio. Three and a half uh, millimeter audio uh, output to to get things in and out from the board. But when uh, I looked at uh, other projects, for example, uh, the, the Open Auto uh, application or, or project is is one of them, which uh, takes, a, for example, Open Auto takes a Raspberry Pi, and uh, you you can put a, a screen. Uh around it you can use uh, the official seven inch raspberry pi touch screen you put this thing together you put it in a box or mount however you want to your to your dash or or to your uh, to your car and uh, you would have mm, rear view uh, camera support through your uh, raspberry and open auto you would have um, the multimedia capabilities uh, internet radio you would have uh, Android Auto if you hook up your uh, through USB. You hook up your uh, Android phone. Uh, you would have navigation, of course. However, the this radio part uh, is uh, is missing, and uh, it's through this Open Auto uh, application is running on top of uh, Raspbian Linux, and uh, as I mentioned. Uh, if you take the DAB plus radio module, uh, the separate monkey board, uh, development board, you can uh, make calls to it uh, from Linux uh, on, on top of which Open Auto runs. However, I haven't seen how to uh, make the two uh, come together for, uh, for a one perfect system. The only little hint I found that uh, Open Auto itself uh, which as I said run, run, runs on top of uh, this Raspbian Linux has a, a way to uh, so you can create uh, external uh, sh applications to be called through shortcuts on Open Auto's uh, interface so perhaps the only way would be to either to uh, script it up or, uh, or, or put it into a, a a single uh, command or instruction which then could be called from open auto through its uh, interface through a shortcut and make uh, the necessary call uh, from raspbian linux to the dab plus uh, monkey board uh, fm uh, module for example uh, to play radio station number one uh, i imagine then you would need to then create uh, a shortcut if it worked this uh, very simple way I explained which there is a chance it would you would need to create uh, uh, a 
a shortcut for each uh, radio station you want to so so called programmed into your into your Raspberry Pi uh, head unit and uh, and Open Auto Pro, which is around twenty eight dollars, I think, if I remember, uh, which is very good. It's only missing this one one piece, this DAB plus uh, radio thing. If you don't need the DAB plus radio thing and you say you are fine with the navigation and the rear view camera support and the uh, Android Auto as it is, then you you don't I think you don't need to worry about this. It's just me. For some reason, I I want to have DAB plus as well, just to be uh, future proof. Another solution which comes very close, uh, and it's kind of more like in an uh, all-in-one box uh, integration, uh, where you don't need to source your own screen and uh, and uh, additional bits and pieces apart from, of course, the Raspberry Pi. And if you want uh, FM radio, not DAB plus FM radio, and um, uh, an antenna for GPS navigation, and uh, those uh, smaller bits, you could go with a kind of uh, half-built system, which is called uh, iCarus. It's i dash i dash carus dot com. Uh, it looks like a two din um, uh, touchscreen. Uh, with some uh, USB ports and uh, volume knob on the side uh, and an on-off switch and then you put your uh, modules you you require you can put your uh, FM radio module which they sell on their website and uh, GPS antenna if you if you if you want you can even put uh, Bluetooth and uh, OTB to uh, engine diagnostic uh, reading uh, module and then the whole thing comes together to something very similar like uh, open auto pro uh, application but uh, it, it's running their their own software and the extra additional um, bit they they use is that they have a board bo they have a board uh, called the ICR board which actually uh, connects directly uh, using your uh, your car's radio connector and those those standard connector that's uh, kind of like the heart of this icarus car pc system so it takes uh, uh, a big part of the hooking this up to your to your car through uh, this uh, standard radio connector and uh, actually you can buy only uh, this piece from their website if you already have your screen uh, and uh, and those various bits and pieces and if not you can you can go and uh, pick the pieces you you want to you want to use in this case uh, this is kind of like a mm, half built solution achieves pretty much the same goal as the the one mentioned previously that you just take a raspberry pi and uh, you hook your own mm, Raspberry touchscreen and install Open Auto Pro uh, application on it. It's a it's another approach which uses uh, uh, even a special mm, ICR board. It's uh, it's it's a board which interacts with the with your car's radio. And the uh, thing is that it's still not. Uh, as complete as I would uh, I would like it to be however uh, it is uh, in price as is the Icarus one it's getting uh, mm, higher in price when compared to those uh, commercially offerings out there the one I found just to do a very simple Google check is uh, is around let's say 500 euros uh, which gives you pretty much what I have mentioned uh, all in one in a in a one DIN uh, device and uh, it's it's commercially uh, backed up of course it's not something which you can dismount and uh, and change bits and pieces in it but uh, something like the the Icarus for example I mentioned 
uh, it also ends up I think somewhere in the 200 ish or 300 ish euros depends on how much you spend on it overall so I think it's always a dilemma to go uh, DIY and uh, end up uh, maybe getting uh, some of uh, the functionality you you after or uh, or just go and get something already pre-built and, uh, and and which is tried and, and, and out there already mm, as long as it does the features you 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 want and as I said it, it can be that I, I perhaps I'm asking uh, for too much and I want everything in in one device when when maybe it's it's not something I would uh, I, I would need need to do the dilemma comes from that uh, the car I have it doesn't have uh, it doesn't have um, the rear view camera uh, system it doesn't have any any screen at all so in that case you would need to um, think about what screen to use you would need to put the the camera uh, for the radio thing uh, that's that's why I mentioned the, the DAB plus and and FM uh, the Icarus system indeed uh, it has FM so that would uh, that would be solved with uh, with the I with something like the Icarus however the the open auto pro I have not seen uh, a way to where it where it would mention uh, radio FM or or DAB at all it uh, it was just a simple uh, multimedia station and the uh, and the internet radio so yeah you could argue that uh, I could always use uh, hooking it up to the phone uh, and uh, just use uh, internet radio getting the same uh, radio stations that way but uh, it would be nice to it would be nice to to be able to get those uh, radio stations which are already there out in the air and uh, not to worry about uh, bringing over your cell phone and make sure you have a, a data package on it active and, and these kind of things and it made me look into uh, other things uh, what else you can do with, uh, with the Raspberry Pi and uh, there are all kinds of uh, ideas out there I found one uh, some website uh, listed like around uh, 17 of them uh, I left it in the show notes it was in uh, Spanish but uh, you can always use Google Translate uh, they mention from creating a Raspberry Pi uh, Wi-Fi access point uh, with the help of a S3G uh, SIM card for example to be able to share uh, internet connection in the car or to turn a Raspberry Pi with those uh, Raspberry uh, camera uh, modules they sell with it to turn it into a dash cam which can, uh, which can record uh, what the camera sees which can come uh, handy or the, the way to, to, to use it as a rear view uh, camera when you, uh, when you park your car doesn't mention any other functionality like you mentioned with open auto or, uh, or the iCar system it uh, has another project which it does that instead of uh, suffering with uh, adding an additional uh, LCD or a touch screen for showing the the image of the camera for example you can use it to stream these live images uh, what the camera sees immediately to to your mobile phone for example which maybe you already have it on a, on a holster on the on the screen on the on the windshield uh, to be honest or uh, perhaps if we talk about the the back row seats you can use uh, and put together with Kodi a kind of like uh, a media system there is a there is a oh give me a second too much noise here 
There's always just noise in this house. So, so the system, the multimedia one, which probably uh, would be best to use, uh, perhaps for the the back s back uh, back row, uh, and not uh, watching videos through Kodi when driving. Uh, you can use this Carberry uh, project, which is uh, taking Kodi and uh, using uh, touch screen. You can turn it into uh, into Kodi uh, multimedia center for for those back row back row passengers, and uh, you can also uh, turn it into uh, a music box with uh, with the Raspberry Pi. There is special projects uh, emphasizing on uh, Spotify and other uh, direct streaming uh, music uh, services for the car, for turning the Raspberry Pi into into that kind of system for the car, uh, Spotify and uh, Google Music. You can also, uh, with the help of a screen with your Raspberry Pi, you can turn it into uh, an OBD uh, information uh, layout uh, where it shows various information uh, which it receives through the OBD co connection in your car with the help of a, a small uh, wireless connector and uh, you can see the real-time information of that and uh, one of the last projects it was mentioning is that you can even again for those uh, back row passengers you could uh, make a, a retro console uh, out of the Raspberry Pi and can just mount it on the on the headrest of the of the front seats or the front seat and uh, let the back row passengers use uh, uh, retro pie in a, in, a, in a case mounted on the on the headrest and uh, and then they're not gonna bother you while, while you are driving or you can even take advantage of uh, Raspberry Pi and uh, its sensor uh, additional sensor you can add to measure temperature and uh, and uh, for example show uh, those temperature readings inside and outside of the car perhaps and one of the one which uh, came to kind of like the the closest which uh, I would find useful to use because the car itself uh, could use some more lighting uh, to, to be more uh, lights and not to be so dark the interior is a project where they take a Raspberry Pi and uh, turn it into a controller for uh, LED strip and uh, to RGB LED strip and I see uh, uses for for that and uh, it's again the same uh, thing that uh, I like uh, all the bits and pieces but I would like to see all of them to be able to come uh, under one common uh, platform or or, or uh, control software from where, uh, with the help of the touch screen, I could access all the all the functionalities, uh, like like this Android Auto or or the implementation of it as a free uh, project Open Auto. So I get one uh, layout, I get one interface, and uh, to be modular enough so the interaction with other bits and pieces can be uh, easily or more easily. Uh achieved or obtained because if not then then the expandability and uh, and how future proof it is uh, it gets into it gets into question I, I know that uh, you, you might say that the, the source code is out there and uh, you can go and take it and, uh, and and make it anything you you want it to be but for those who not really uh, proficient in in programming uh, or don't know how to 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 expand on 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 a, on a pro 
program like that for those people there has there should be some some like those like those uh, open auto i mentioned that they have kind of like a shortcut system which makes it possible to do uh, to call uh, i think as far as i read it in the user manual to call external applications i couldn't find uh, what i can do with those things once i once i call them if it opens the application up on a full screen or if it just returns me uh, the result or if it just does uh, what uh, when I click on it uh, it does the command and uh, whatever the command does it, it gets executed and but something like uh, like a more user-friendly approach to to add and expand on 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 any of these platforms would be would be nice because you definitely don't want to uh, implement uh, for every single solution you need. Uh, you cannot uh, add an extra device, or uh, it's not 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 always because of the cost. It's because uh, you don't have that much space in something as confined in the in your car. So if you want uh, a Raspberry Pi to control your lights in the car, then you would like that to also do additional things. You don't want to add an additional Raspberry Pi on top of that to to do the multimedia head unit and the navigation and the Android Auto as well, because then it's going to be cluttery and utterly messy, I think, uh, very quickly. And uh, confined space is confined space. So mm, I think. Uh, there is a need for a for a more modular approach, and uh, one workaround I I saw might be that uh, as long as there is an Android application of uh, of the certain functionality you want, you could also install Lineage OS on your Raspberry Pi, and then use uh, uh, in that case Lineage OS uh, based on Android nine. You could use that to, for example, this DAB plus. Uh, monkey board uh, controller it has an android app uh, to to control and use that board so you could do that uh, the navigation is already there and then you would need to find some additional android application for uh, the rear view camera so that was the closest so to say when i would say that you could put perhaps something together in a in an all-in-one system but uh, I would love to to see something a bit uh, user friendly or easier for beginners. I don't know how to how to say that. Uh, one of the things which, uh, for example, the Icarus system didn't do, which was pretty much the closest uh, as far as a uh, all-in-one solution got. Uh, it didn't have this uh, Bluetooth audio pass-through kind of things, and uh, I think that's important when. Uh, you want to use the phone as a as a, as a loudspeaker, mm, so you can take uh, calls uh, using a, a microphone plugged into a Raspberry Pi, and you can hear the the other person talking through the through the car stereo. So that thing it didn't do; it pretty much did the rest. You can you can see in the show notes. So so I think there is still. Uh, for improvement in automotion and uh, and the Raspberry Pi and uh, and this open source approach to to car to car multimedia and car yeah we can call it car multimedia and uh, and, and com complete systems with those re review mirror uh, review cameras and kind of stuff so yeah it's always a dilemma to to buy it one off the shelf even though it's uh, around 500 euros and up or try to build something for yourself with uh, raspberry Pis and other bits and pieces uh, and try to make them all come together under one box so thank you very much for listening i hope you found it interesting and uh, see you next saturday <laughs>